Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of creating process and today's video we will design this logo and if we look at this logo there are three rectangular pieces which have been revolved around cylinder like uh, imaginary cylinder and we will be preparing each piece separately and in the final we will be combining together. So let's begin with the tutorial. To create this we will first select the rectangular tool and create a strip of rectangle of certain color like red for example. Now. The next step is to convert this rectangular pieces into symbol. The reason why I'm converting it into symbol is because I'll be using the symbol uh, when I'll be using the cylinder and I want to map that over it. So this is going to be this strip which I'm going to map. So let's convert this. Here's a symbol box. We'll just drag and drop there. Name it red. Okay. Now you can delete this because the symbol is there. Now we don't need that. Now the next step is to create the cylinder. So to create that, we'll select the rectangle tool and make a rectangle of certain width. Go to Effect 3D Revolve, and this will create a cylindrical shape. Now, make sure that all these values are zero. We'll be playing only with one angle. This one. We'll go to Map Art. In the Map Art, we we'll select the surface. So let's so find the surface. This is the surface. We will map that right strip over here just tilt the angle just make sure the thickness is constant just tilt it scale it up a little bit of tiltedness so you can see that you can see that there is a strip over there you can invisible ma ma geometry so that you can see only the strip part this you can just scale it up is it there okay and <coughs> click the ok button now we'll play with the angle this angle only so just rotate it a while we need this piece of uh, surface here this design we'll be getting it this one you can see that it's already getting there we can click ok after that so we have got this piece here and this body part we have now we don't need this so we can remove that later so just uh, select this object expand appearance ungroup it and release clipping mask now select all of them fill it with a uh, different color now the reason i'm collecting it is selecting is that so that i can see the clipping mask surfaces you can select and delete it independently so here we left only with this so now we can independently color it so we have got this uh, you can also notice that this red strip is the symmetry of this blue so we can create the blue strip in this portion also using this so uh, to group this up Control G we'll go to reflect tool and we can see the horizontal is good copy so we got the refractive portion now the next step next step is to create this yellow strip which is a kind of a completing one revolution so we'll make one more rectangle here of certain thickness effect 3d revolve preview it make all the angles zero and after that go to map art in the map art uh, cancel this a while so that I can place it here now in the map art our surface already there we can just uh, map that red one scale it down a bit rotate it okay you can just make it thinner rotate it and place it there carefully make invisible geometry maintain the thickness make it you can even make it thinner now <coughs> play with the values here and after that when you feel that it's okay then you can click the ok button and we don't need to play with the angles because it's completing one revolution it's okay we can use that now the only problem is there it's on the opposite direction we can fix that by going into the reflection tool and make it vertical or horizontal just see that actually the reason why we are not able to use this tool is because it's in the 3d form still we are it's features are affected by the 3d revolve option so we need to remove that we need to do that we'll uh, convert this into object form so, so go and expand it ungroup it ungroup it twice release clipping mask you can uh, now you can we can just select and delete it 
these are the pieces which are left gonna group it control G and now we can go to reflect tool and you can see the effect here and click OK so here we go we got this space we can just place it there and scale it up so here we go just make sure that all the pieces are aligned this line and just uh, give some gap here it's okay fine now the next thing is to place all the pieces above or below the placement is very important so we'll do that <clears throat> just see that this portion let's select everything and ungroup it first so that each pieces are separate now arrange it to front this will bring it to front this one we need it on the back side arrange to back so this is on the back side this one this is above this should be on the above so we can arrange to front here we go now this is here we can just okay so here we go I think this piece is correct this portion is also correct so let's fill up the color so to do that I'll select this first with the eye picker select the color gradient now with the gradient tool just apply it perfectly so here we go we got it now select the other piece with the eye picker select the gradient color with the gradient tool just apply it so here we go <coughs> we got our gradient we'll fill this <coughs> with different all the pieces eye picker fill it gradient tool apply it carefully opposite direction now select it eye picker select the color with the shift just drag or in the opposite direction we are left only this part with the eye picker select it and with the gradient tool just apply it we need our dark portion that side select this piece also with the eye picker selected and now with the gradient just apply it so here we go we got the gradient color fixed we got everything done now only thing we are left with is we can just scale this up make it a little bit thinner that's our control man and scale it up so overall we have done we have made the uh, three strip we have converted the rectangular pieces that's the strip long one into like a ribbon structure and we have formed the letter kind of K now we are left with our text part so you can do that by T text we can write K N O W and known maybe with the small letter K scale it up place it there fill the same color size is fixed so we have completed our logo so this is how we can prepare these kind of logos using the various uh, tools like revolve and using the cylinder as the reference and creating some unique stuff hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button thank you